a town near the Be'er Sheva in the biblical Negev where and it has been raining the last few days in the hill country and you can see how the, the waters are rushing down through the stream which is usually very very dry so the psalmist in Psalm 126 uses this image restore our fortunes O Lord like streams in the Negev here we are in Be'er and we are about to descend into a water system which dates back to the time of King Hezekiah Oh, beautiful. Oh. We're in the city of Erod, in the biblical Negev, in the temple or high place. And I'm standing in the Holy of Holies where there were standing stones and pillars for the burning of incense. And these places were condemned by the prophets and was probably destroyed by Hezekiah. We're in the city of Erod, in the early Canaanite section of the city. Behind us you can see on the hill the fortress that the Israelites built in a later period. And it's possible that Abraham and Lot walked in these streets. And later in history, when Israel came out of Egypt, um, they, they fought against the Canaanite king of Arad. We're standing above the Nahalzim. According to God, this is the southernmost border of the land of Canaan. To my right would be Canaan, and to my left would be not Canaan. We're in the Negev Highlands near where the Israelites wandered and normally it's very dry here but we've had a couple of good rains lately and as you can see there's a lot of water here right now. Streams flowing in the desert. Great. Now he hands it off to no. someone who hasn't gotten it. No. Surprise us all. No. No. Courtney, you got it. Yeah, it can't be Courtney. We're in the desert highlands. Behind me is a crater called Ramon in the general area near Kadesh Barnea where the spies were sent out and where they brought back an unfavorable report. And in that report, God condemned all those 20 and older that they would die in the desert. And uh, today is my 20th birthday. We're in the Paran wilderness, which is just a little bit southwest of Kadesh Barnea. Kadesh Barnea sits on the edge of the Promised Land, where the spies were sent out and came back with an unfaithful report. The, because of the people's unfaithfulness, they were forced to wander in this wilderness area, the entire generation that was 20 years older and up. When the later generations of Israelites entered the Promised Land and lived in nice houses and had plentiful food, they were exhorted to remember their wilderness experience as a reminder that they lived by God's grace. What? What's this canyon called? The Red Canyon. Okay, this is, we're on Coral Beach in, uh, in uh, Israel, and Moses Rock over there is amazing. There's also different uh, colors of fish. And we saw a sea snake and some other stuff. We're right at a lot. We're snorkeling at the Red Sea, looking at the coral, and we saw some jungle. Well, we're standing outside of the life-size model of the tabernacle built by the Israelites in the wilderness. Coming in. This is the holy place, and right here is the altar of incense. And and this is the high priest, but behind me is the curtain that separates us from the Holy of Holies, which the high priest can only enter once a year. Coming in. Hey. <laughs> this is the Holy of Holies where the Ark of the Covenant was, and this is where the glory of God dwelled in Israel, in the tabernacle. And, well, me gusta mucho Israel, y muchas gracias por todo, por a los maestros y todo. Bye. What? Where are you guys at? <laughs> uh, Masada. Somewhere in Masada. It's called the Marl Canyons. Behind me is a rock and on top of it 
is a fortress called Masada, built by Herod the Great. And this morning we climbed it at 5.15 to see the sunrise. All right, we're entering here at K1 at Qumran, where the Dead Sea Scrolls were found, and Dead Sea's actually right over there. And here we found biblical texts dating to the time of Jesus. Uh, one of them is the scroll of the book of Isaiah, and we also found uh, extra Jewish literature that gives us insight into the culture of Jesus' time. Now we are in uh, Qumran Cave 1, and this is where they found some of the Qumran texts, and it is one of the most significant archaeological finds in the last century that relates to the Bible. God bless America. Am I really late? I figured if they're melting the copper with the sand that they would <laughs> net uh This is the Holy of Holies where the Ark of the Covenant was and what else?